It's Friday morning. It's June the 3rd, 2022, and it's a pleasure to be able to share some principles from the scriptures with you today. I'm Pastor Mike Custer, the pastor of Bible Baptist Church in Grand Forks, North Dakota, and we're going to read this morning from Proverbs chapter 24, verses 22 and 23. 24, 22, and 23, the Bible says this, For their calamity shall rise suddenly, and who knoweth the ruin of them both? And this is a reference to the people that are mentioned in verse 21. Um, Meddle not with them that are given to change, and their calamity shall rise suddenly. Who knoweth the ruin of them both? Verse 23 says, These things also belong to the wise. It is not good to have respect of persons in judgment. And the Bible is always for fairness. You know, you hear so much these days about, oh, that's not fair, that's not fair, that's not fair. And people want to be treated with fairness and with equity, they say. But I'm afraid that a lot of times this is people's desire for some kind of preferential treatment. If they don't get special preferential treatment, they say, oh, that's not fair. And, and so the idea here is that the world isn't fair. Life isn't fair because people don't all get the same thing. People don't all get the same opportunities sometimes. People don't all get the same reward. And so they come to the conclusion that's not fair. But I like what verse 23 says. Um, these things also belong to the wise. It's not good to have respect of persons in judgment, at least in the way that we treat other people, we ought to be equitable. You know, it's true how vile and how wicked a thing of what's called racial prejudice is. Actually, it's ethnic prejudice, not racial prejudice, because all human beings are of the same race. And so racism is not even a good term. It's not even an accurate term. We're all of the same human family or the same human race. And some people have ethnic prejudices. They have prejudice against, prejudices against others who come from other ethnic backgrounds than their own. But the Bible says that's not good. It's not good to have respect of persons in judgment. We should consider all people to be valuable, to be creatures of God, to be eternal beings, just like everybody else is. And we ought to treat people with equity and be kind to people and be respectful of others just because they are human beings created in God's image. And I know a lot of people do some crazy things and they reject some of the old mooring, some of the old standards. And that's kind of what the verse that we read yesterday was all about. Chapter 24, verse 21, I believe it was about uh, not meddling with those that are given to change. But the Bible still desires, as the Bible still commands, that we treat people equitably and not be favorite, not be a respecter of persons, not play favorites or express or ex exhibit favoritism per se. We ought to treat people the same. And everybody should have the same opportunity or at least should have opportunity to hear the gospel. Everybody should have the chance to know that God loves them and that Jesus Christ died on the cross for their sins. That's the reason that we invest a lot of time and money into sending missionaries around the world. And a lot of people go on missions trips to have the opportunity to share the gospel with somebody who would not receive it otherwise. Because we believe that everybody should have that opportunity to hear the truth of God's word at some point in their life so they'd have the chance to be saved if they will. And of course, that's every man's choice, but we should not be respecters of persons in judgment, the Bible says. Just ask God to help you to love folks, just to love people generally, and to reach out to folks with the truth. God bless you today.